Hi everybody. Um, back for a little shorty here. I'm working with an experiment using a stencil, kind of a border stencil, and a bit of this stuff. It's texture paste. Uh, you can get this probably on Amazon. Um, it, you could also use spackling compound, but spackling compound isn't quite as uh, fine as this is, and I like working with this a little bit better. So in this experiment, I took a piece of tissue paper, uh, tracing paper, and I put the stencil on, and then I used a palette knife, and I just squeegeed this stuff very, very carefully through the stencil, made sure I have really good coverage of it, and set it aside to dry. So I thought I would do the same thing on acetate. So I'm going to line it up here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I just got to see where the acetate is. All right. I use a little bit of painter's tape. Ooh, ooh, I just spotted something. That's going to be blocking everything. That's got to go here. I'm trying not to touch the acetate as much as possible. It scratches so easily. Now, as you know, I'm a card maker, so this all has to do with making cards. I am going to tape the top, tape the bottom, so it doesn't move on me. Now acetate itself is pretty springy, so I'm looking to see, the stencil is actually resting on it quite nice, so we're hoping. This is an experiment. I can fail. It's okay. Through failure you learn. So I put a gob about that much on. That seems like a lot, but it isn't. I just barely took it off the top. And I stop at, start at the top. And I come down. I try not to get it on the acetate. So I kind of work away from that area. And what you want to... Oh, that's puckering. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Like we said, it's an experiment. So I'm going to go in. I've got to hold this down. It wants to come up. Okay. I'm trying to be very, very careful not to get this off the edge of the stencil because once it's on there, especially with acetate, it's going to be a problem. I love this one. This is a uh, Bob Ross one. I like the big broad thing, and this is multi-useful uh, as far as I'm concerned. I can use it for this, or I can use it for regular painting. It just works for lots of things. So it's probably the only palette knife I own. When I was an artist, as working with oils, I had a variety of palette knives. I loved doing palette knife painting, but I don't do anything big and elaborate anymore. I'm just a card maker. I was going through my old paintings, which are stored um, in my garage, and I found one that would be very appropriate to put up in a gallery today, which no gallery would have taken many years ago when I painted it. And they're having an open invitational. And you know what it is? It's UFOs. 
And the reason I'm thinking about entering that is because the Pentagon finally admitted that UFOs are for real. And I went, okay, that'll work. So maybe I can sell a painting and an old one at that. So you never, you never throw out your art. <laughs> never throw it out because time changes. Things change. I'm being very careful here to cover this whole thing and make sure this creamy pasty gets in all the cracks. There's one place down here it's not doing such a good job, but oh well. Once I think I have it, I can remove the stencil. And you know, a little of this goes a long way. Okay, I'll set that there. I'm going to take this piece of tape off. And I'm going to lift this up this way. And we're going to see... Oh, it turned out wonderful on acetate. That is great news. Now, that would be beautiful for, say, a wedding uh, card. Oops. It's puckered, but... Um, I think later when it's dry, I can put it um, under something heavy and flatten it. But it turned out really, really good. So you have this one on tissue paper and this one on acetate. So we'll see how this turns out. Thank you for dropping by my studio, and I'm going to do a continuation video onto this one to show you how these came out after they dry, and probably what I did to finish them out as a card. Talk to you later. Hi, everybody. This is Judy again, and um, I'm back to do a follow-up on how stenciling that compound through the stencil worked. And the first one I'm going to show you is, this is a piece of purple cardstock. I did it there, and I was amazed to find out that it dried clear. And I thought that made an amazing card. Really, really like that. And then, I did this one on acetate. And it looks like it's molded plastic. And that's a whole different feel. I really love the look of that. And then last but not least, I did it on tracing paper. And it's different, but I didn't really like how with the moisture it kind of rippled. I, I didn't care for that too much. So I wouldn't consider this a success. And I put a little rub and buff on it. And anyway, it wasn't much. Now what I did, I thought, well, okay, they look great. They turned out great. But what can you do to bring them out more? So I got a design off of Google. And I thought, well, here's one. I could make that a card like that. Um, doesn't do a lot for me though. This doesn't. I don't think it would sell. So I thought, well, okay, I'll do this one underneath there. That's a little bit better. 
but it doesn't really tie in with this. And also, the ends of this curled up. And I'm not too excited about that. Anyway, I took and put a piece of playing card stock in there. And that's interesting, maybe. I don't know. Like that, see? It just doesn't do a lot for me. I'm not wowed by it. Then I took the acetate. And I said, well, what could I do with that? Um, so I thought, well, I could do something like that, but this gets lost, but maybe that would be okay. It would be very different. It somehow or another, it doesn't feel like it goes together, though it's flowers and flowers, it still doesn't feel like it goes together. And what would a plain piece do? stands out a little bit better. It's just not a, it doesn't wow me a lot. Though I love how that looks. So I might later on take and cut this out and just add it to a card somewhere along the line and not make it out a card in itself. I don't know. I'm going to set it aside. And then the last one is this one. And it's already solid, so all I'd have to do is put an insert in it. And But I wanted to put something else on here besides this. And I was thinking how I love these things. I buy them down at Michael's, okay? But look at those colors on that. And so before I take them out of the packaging, I wanted to see that. Here's another thing. I could put pearls on it. But then this feels like it needs something. I I don't know. There's this one. That would be a popper. And then there's one with hearts, which I don't get. I got pink hearts. That's pretty too. I could do something like that. So, this, I said this was a experiment, so, so, um, that's all it is. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you, and, uh, I'll, if anything great comes out of this, you'll see it on your gallery shelf. <laughs> um, anyway, you take care, I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.